Hey guys, it's Greg. Today we're going to look at how to become a data engineer in 2022. Now this is Coursera's official pathway, so I'm not making this up. Here is the roadmap that they suggest. They basically have it broken down into three different sections and you go along and take more and more courses to become each of those. So they start off with a few courses, you'll become an entry level business intelligence analyst, a few more kind of a mid level BI developer, and then senior level after following this whole pathway, they say you can become a data engineer. Of course, it is always recommended to try and get an undergraduate degree that's related to the field if you can a portfolio of your own so more projects and showing that you know these things is always suggested and will help for sure but these courses by themselves will really really help they're not going to assume you really know much of anything here you can just go and follow this pathway so to become a bi analyst at the entry level they suggest these skills sql bi itself of course data analysis and tableau now, what's really wonderful about this is regardless of if you pursue this whole pathway or not, starting off with this, you are going to learn some very, very important skills that will follow you through any sort of data and really any programming related career. SQL itself is tremendously valuable. So they start off with this specialization, which is from the University of California, Davis campus. And uh, it's really just an SQL course. There's actually four courses in the specialization and you should feel pretty comfortable with relational databases and SQL after taking this course. Uh, then they suggest learning Tableau. That is also by the same group of people, very similar ratings all around. You can learn Tableau. It's a relatively new skill, but it really is in demand these days. Uh, and what's wonderful about it is it's not super challenging. Um, it's still not super easy. Like you're going to have to, you know, work through it and understand each of the individual pieces. Uh, but to get some real value out of this tool, it's really not that hard, which is quite nice. Uh, and then in this last section here, they do a specialization on data analysis and presentation by PwC, which is a very large company. Uh, this is actually rated higher than the other ones. And I've haven't taken it myself. I'm not super familiar with this, uh, but actually I might make a full review on this course because I do see that the, the ratings are higher than usual uh, and a lot of ratings in general. Uh, what is nice about this, I'm sure, is that presentation skills are gener generally lacking uh, amongst many candidates. And uh, what's going to help, not, not just the technical knowledge of being able to uh, present this, but actually learning these presentation skills and practicing them will really help itself for the interview as well. Just getting confident, uh, you know, practicing what to say. It's very, very useful from uh, multiple angles. Okay, and so after that, they kind of uh, believe that you can become this uh, entry level business intelligence analyst, uh, because you know, SQL, data visualization with Tableau, uh, and how to present these things and further data analysis. Now to become say a mid level BI developer, which the difference is kind of more coding skills. Uh, and so they have Python software development, SQL and JavaScript. So what they recommend to start here is the software development lifecycle. So kind of that um, there's always a university course that goes over in general software development and not necessarily too much into like say data structures and algorithms and that type of thing. Uh, but if you go to the specialization, I kind of just want to show you in particular, whoa, that made the screen go black. Um, I just want to show you the different courses that they, that they have here. By the way, this is included in Coursera Plus, which is great. Uh, courses, you have the processes and methodology agile software development, uh, lean software development, and engineering practices. Okay, so not so much into the actual coding. Uh, it's more so in general about building software at a, at a big level. Okay, or for, for a large team, basically. Now, what I think is a little bit silly, and I'm going to adjust this pathway myself, is this certainly is not enough. They have key skills to learn here, Python, software development, SQL, and JavaScript, and yet here they really don't have much coding at all. So I will actually add a couple courses, and I'm not going to explain them because I don't know exactly at this moment what I want to add, but check the video description and you will see exactly what I do end up adding there. Okay, so data engineer, senior level, Python, big data, and ETL. So these are really where the core skills come in, and the vast majority of actual data engineer roles are going to look something uh, very similar to these set of courses. Uh, I'm not surprised at all, and I, I would have as, as well. I uh, recommended the big data specialization by University of California, San Diego campus. A lot of ratings, very well respected. Um, I know the content in this, and it's a really good thing to learn. They go pretty in depth to where it's quite useful uh, to learn for data engineering. 
Again, kind of same, it's still extremely useful for any sort of data analyst, um, data scientist, machine learning engineer, all of those occupations, I would certainly recommend this course as well. Uh, so take that if you can. Uh, and then some sort of a cloud one in specific is a very strong idea. Preparing for the Google Cloud Certification Cloud Data Engineer is probably the one that's most accurate. Uh, if you find that you don't want this one in particular, there are some other Google Cloud choices that are uh, a little more machine learning focused if that's something you want to go into. Uh, but again, since this is a data engineer pathway, that is probably the one that makes most sense. Okay, so in general, I love this pathway and I very strongly agree with it, other than I feel just maybe a little bit of laziness on not putting some content here. There's some courses that I'll put again in the video description marking the full pathway. So please check that out, see exactly what I recommend and it'll have all of the links there. It's, good. it's a great pathway. Seriously, I, I think that I really, really agree with what they said and you learn the fundamental skills. Um, I would actually add even maybe one more in here, which is on PySpark in particular, uh, but even even then this goes into this goes into Spark and you'll be doing a bit of that similar stuff on the cloud data engineer as well. Okay, so I will see you later, guys. I hope that this was an informative video uh, and yeah, have a great day. I'll see you later.